watch how they change the this is, I, I don't want to give it away but this is so cool so the name of Jesus had they given it to us in the proper context this mystery that the Lord gave me would have been solved a long time ago <laughs> because they know how to change things just to make sure you don't get to the nitty gritty but the nitty gritty is here let me tell you something Elohim if you think Elohim is the Lord God you're delusional and I'm going to show you just how delusional anyone that believes that is okay friends you just heard it there um, Jonathan is saying that anybody that uh, you know believes that Jesus is Elohim is delusional and he's also saying that um, the Lord and the Lord God and God aren't the same and I'm going to prove it to be false so here we go hang on so I just want to go over this with you really really quick and hopefully put this to to bed at first um, but I wanted to prove to you that he's teaching a uh, a false doctrine and he's uh, teaching a Gnostic doctrine and um, promoting Jewish fables so let's listen to this real quick it's going to be short but to the point okay chapter 4 I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. But watch now in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. Okay, so that's talking about, you know, obviously, uh, teaching the truth, being very conscious and aware of Jewish fables and false teachers that will be tickling people's ears in the last days. And I is Hebrew for Lord or Master. Its root word uh, can also mean Father, and I, Y H W H, literally means Lord, Lord. Since it doesn't make much sense, it's usually translated as Lord God. Okay. Now I did a little research here on uh, uh, Bible verses talking about the Lord, and um, this is the wages of sin and death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. But there again, he's trying to say that the Lord and the Lord God are two different things. Not so. He's just confusing the issue. And he's deceiving the minds of the simple. And there's just all these verses that, that go through this. I won't read every one of them to you. But uh, here's another one. Praise be to the Lord, to God our Savior, whose daily, uh, who daily bears our burdens. Our God is a God who saves from the sovereign. The Lord comes, escapes from death. For the Lord God, here's another one, Psalms 84, 11, 12. For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. Listen to that again. For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk is blameless. Almighty God blesses one who he trusts in you. Uh, forgive my reading uh, because I've got cataracts on both eyes uh, on the back of my lenses and everything looks like I'm looking through fog so you know please forgive me um, you know I'm not I'm not trying to you know, struck you know I'm just struggling a little bit seeing the screen and also um, <clears throat> I wanted to play something to you check this out what he says so the name of Jesus have they given it to us in the proper context this mystery that the Lord gave me would have been solved a long time ago <laughs> because they know how to change things just to make sure you don't get to the nitty gritty but the nitty gritty is here let me tell you something Elohim if you think Elohim is the Lord God you're delusional okay, so there you go you heard it right out of his mouth um, so I looked up Elohim here and these are the the various verses um, you know, they speak of Elohim, 
And um, if you notice, and again, I won't read all these to you, but it references in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. That's important because it's saying that the Word is Elohim. Okay? But Kleck just said that it wasn't, that anybody that believed that was delusional. Okay? Um, obviously, he's a brick short of a load on this issue. So, and then also we have, uh, I looked up uh, God in the Bible. And he's always talking about Genesis, Genesis, Genesis. And, that, and that's where he tries to build his case. But if you look at Genesis starting in 129, and it's talking about creation, and it's talking about how God created everything. And, um, it, you know, it goes, it says, that, And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb-bearing seed, which is upon the face of the earth and every tree, uh, for which uh, the fruit of the tree yielding seed shall be for you for me. Uh, and, and that again, it blows Kleck's synopsis or teaching about Eve having sex with the tree, which he claims the tree was Satan, when Eve flat said that she saw that the tree was good for food. So you go to Genesis 129 here, and it is exactly what God said, uh, that it would be good for meat or food. So, but I wanted to real quickly touch on Genesis uh, 2 and 4. And it says, And these are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. Genesis 2.5. Uh, here we go. And every plant of the field before it was in the earth and every herb of the field before it grew, before the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth and there was not a man to till the ground. So the Lord God made the earth. He made everything in it. That's a reference, a clear reference to Jesus Christ. Uh, chapter 1 so in, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God the same was in the beginning with God all things were made by him without him was not anything made that was made okay so that, that just blows the serpent seed doctrine and, and the devil creating the earth and the devil creating man right out of the water okay um, God who is Jesus Christ who is Emmanuel who is God in the flesh that's what Emmanuel means God in the flesh um, created it all he gets credit for all of it and um, and John's twisting the scripture he, he's t like I said he's teaching a Gnostic gospel and I've tried and tried and tried to wake as many people up as I can and for whatever reason the bulk of the church is asleep but they just don't care they're just sitting around waiting on the rapture and these false teachers like Jonathan Clack and Billy Hobbs and uh, uh, Rap the News I mean Rap the News right around saying that Jesus isn't God and, and, and Jonathan is basically blaspheming Jesus by giving credit to Satan for what Jesus did as far as creating all things. Jonathan's even gone as far as saying we have serpent skin, therefore that's evidence we were created by a serpent. So I mean, th this whole thing is just madness. And so um, I wanted to point this out to you really quick. I wanted to thank you for your time, and um, I hope this helps some people. And with that, God bless you, love you, and if I can do anything for you, need some counseling or something, I'll be glad to help you the best I can. So take care. With that, God bless you. Bye now.